uh, today I got a real treat for you guys. This is a specialized battery pack. The electric bicycle this came from cost about 6,700 euros as new. This guy got it used for like 4,000 euros. But it's still this might have been the most expensive electric bike battery we ever got any in so far. It's frame mounted, it's not the specialized turbo, it's a Kenovo. 504 watt hour and the problem is the battery won't charge uh, it still still works on e-bike but it won't charge here you have uh, the charger i recall this design of the charger i don't know if it's uh, shenzhen mondiary i think so yeah shenzhen mondiary for specialized and it has this arvo pd connector rosenberger which is crap but um, uh, it turns green when you connect it, of course, it's, should, should it, why, why should you use magnetic connector to make things easy? It just won't stick. You have to twist it the right way. Did you see that? It flashes uh, red for just one second. And also, I don't know if this is an on-off switch or just for uh, power. It's flashing red. I'm gonna see if I can find out what that means before I open it up. From different forums, three red light, uh, the mission control app says imbalanced cells. That is actually something we can fix. If it's imbalanced cells in here, that is something we actually can fix. Uh, the weird thing, I think, uh, from looking at the outside, this Rosenberger connector, as you can see, it has two pins to transfer power, but it also has two pins to make uh, the power go on off and two pins for data transfer. Uh, the two pins for data transfer is missing and one of the two pins for activating the charger is missing so maybe they did something different in here something specialized i don't know why there's just one pin usually you need uh, two pins that go in a loop to activate the power in the charger or the power in the battery it's it the future you need to have when having a magnetized contact i recognize the design a little bit with this label i don't know who manufactured it it says manufactured in china from this label alone i'm getting the vibe of uh, giant battery packs the more modern one i think is similar in both the design and uh, how the labels are created but i don't think we get to see inside who actually created this battery something special about this i think you should be able to flip this one open now now let's unscrew that one as well no secret hiding in over here yeah you should unscrew it okay yes what was that for really what was that for yes you can put your logo on there Cleaning. How the fuck are you supposed to? Okay, now I see it. The, these uh, rubbery things are hiding the screws. I remember another high end battery pack with similar functions. I can't recall what it was right now. Oh, that's fairly easy. No, sorry. Come on. Yeah, excellent. They're made from rubber and not plastic or something stupid. So they're easy to put in, easy to remove, and they stick. Stick very well. Excellent. Oh, now this one is loose. You might not want to lose that one, but this one is actually made from plastic. And I think it's the locking mechanism. I thought that would be... no. But just for putting it down, this is most likely the lock. This really feels metallic. So, here you have a good grip. It still feels like something is pulling. Is there another... Oh, of course! There's another line of screws. If I 
first. Let's have a look at these screws. They have some kind of green crank on them. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's for water protection. Not only do they have these rubber plugs, they also have this green gunk on the screws. Uh, it might be silicone. I don't really know what it is, but it's special. Now, ooh, um, they're using Chinese Panasonic GA, Sanyo GA from their Chinese plant. And using Chinese Sanyu GA. Do you know the price difference between Chinese GA and Japanese GA? It's 0 0.5 cents. 0 0.5 cents. Not 50 cents, 0 0.5 cents. That's the actual price difference. They are also made by Sanyu but at their uh, Chinese factory. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, oh. Shit. Yeah, it's not the first time I see like this full plate PCB. I'm just amazed. A BMS for a 250 watt e-bike is usually like eh, a little bit and then they have... Okay. Holy crap! Here you can see something really wrong. This is water damage between all the pins. Here you can also see there has been water damage here. So most likely there is still water in here. That is actually water. Yes, that is water and this is water. So there is a weak point and it's this rubber list most likely or these LEDs. So there has been, um, oh, here, there's water everywhere. There's tons of water in here in the corners. Yeah, now you can see it clearly. There's a lot of water in here. Water damage. Can we do anything about that? <laughs> I'm gonna clean this gunk off. I do not have any cleaning solutions. So I'm just gonna scrape off everything that might be corrosive. You can see it's quite dirty. Uh, we talked a little about batteries and he said in USA you can get a 700 watt hour battery for like 1500 euros or something. Uh, there could of course be water on the back side. I don't know if this one is glued together. I can't see any screws. Hello. No. It's still making that silly noise. Flashing. Uh, this one is drenched in uh, protection. So even if there's water around here, it would handle that. But this kind of electronic was not drenched. Can you please shut the fuck up? Here you can actually see all of the four pins are connected on the Rosenberger. 23.95. Yes, it's low voltage. Is it a 48 volt battery? Yeah, it's a 36 volt. So let's see from here. 2.4. That's actually salvageable. 2.4. 2.4. 2.4. Two point four, two point three, two point four, two point four, two point four, two point four. We are gonna do a revival of this battery pack. However, this is very similar to the giant battery packs I got in earlier. I think they are made by Sanyu, and it makes sense since these are also using Sanyu cells, and many of these things look similar to Sanyu. However, it wouldn't charge. It was like uh, 3 volts per cell, but it wouldn't charge. So I tested if um, char charging each cell group up a little bit would help, but it wouldn't help. And there has been water damage, so there could be other things. Let's just see what this the charge says now. Even harder. No, it flashes for one second, and then this one started to flash. And yeah, it's, it's low voltage, not in balance, but low voltage. So I'm gonna offer this customer to charge these cells up to maybe 3.5 and see if that helps with the charging. In most cases, in most BMSs that would be useful, but since they're water damage and weird ass motherfucking looking BMS, I don't know if that will help. But of course we're gonna try, so it doesn't have to buy a new e-bike or a new battery. I'm guessing this is a Bluetooth module. I can't really understand what else it should be. So, but that's how it looks on the inside and um, if it's flashing, it, if it's making that noise and flashing red lights, then most likely it is um, low, low voltage. 